Hi everyone, it's Rachel here with a review of Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinnenbro. This is a pretty new release, just came out at the end of January and I'm trying to review more new books just to help you figure out which ones are worth picking up. If you have not heard the plot of this buzzy new book, I'll give you a quick synopsis. This book is about a young woman, Louise, who goes to a bar on a weeknight ends up meeting a man, making out, and having a really good time. However, the next morning when she goes back to work, she discovers that man is her new boss. And not only that, but he is married. This book is told over multiple perspectives, one being Louise, and the other perspective is the wife of this man. When we read from her perspectives, things don't seem to be going so well in their marriage. You see a lot of strange things going on and uh, this woman is very lonely and isolated and uh, you start to wonder what's going on within their marriage. Uh, maybe they're not so happily married if her husband is going off and making out with women in bars. And the story really takes off from there. I don't want to give away much more of the plot because this book is all about going into it without spoilers. Uh, if you have followed any of the marketing, the marketing around this book is all about the ending and I will not spoil that in this video. But it's definitely a book that if you're looking for a twisty tale with lots of surprises and changes throughout the story, this is a really good one to pick up. I would kind of compare it to books like Behind Closed Doors and The Kind Worth Killing. If those are the kind of suspense or psychological thrillers that you really enjoy, you'll probably like this one too. I know other people have adored it. I've seen a lot of five-star reviews. My review ended up being around 3.5 stars, partially because I read so much of this genre that I'm a very harsh critic and it takes a lot for a book to make my favorites. And I thought this one was good, but I have read better. That being said, it's still a really enjoyable read. In terms of characters, these characters are very flawed and unlikable, which is not a problem for me, but just a heads up if that's something that bothers you. I feel like I see detached characters quite often written in these UK psychological suspense, and this is definitely one of those stories. I wish I was a little more invested in the character so that I cared a little more what happened to them, but it was still a very enjoyable read. In terms of pacing, it's incredibly fast paced. The chapters are very short, and so you're constantly flipping the page. I definitely inhaled this in just a few days. Despite being very busy, I found myself carving out time to read it. So that says a lot about what a fast paced book it is. Now, without saying specifics about the ending, I will let you know I did not guess the ending. And as I mentioned, I read a lot of these, so I tend to be able to guess where books are going, but this one definitely surprised me. There's reasons for that that I can't talk about because of spoilers. But if you are craving a book that will absolutely surprise you, this is one to pick up. I have not heard a single reader who has properly guessed that ending in its entirety and I thought it was really well done. I did like the ending. Again, the book as a whole I thought was a good, decent, uh, twisty, turny read that is going to keep you guessing and second guessing what's going on. And if that's the kind of book you're looking for, I definitely recommend picking this up. Uh, if you have any thoughts, please share them down below in the comments. However, let's keep this spoiler free. So if you do want to talk the ending, uh, instead I'll ask you to message me on Twitter or Goodreads or Instagram and we can talk more there. If you have uh, questions or thinking about picking it up, don't be shy to ask me down below. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you again soon. Okay, bye.